Hey everyone, so I want to give you guys a brief summary on what is happening with backwater angling and we've been slacking in the video department for quite a while now and with that being said, I'm now editing videos for backwater angling and I could use whatever critique you guys have because I'm kind of new to this. I did make one video way back when on brown trout, but that, that doesn't matter at all. I, that, I, I got way better video editing software now. So yeah. Um, this trip, uh, we, me, Alex Lepp and Troy Green, we went to Lake Michigan to go chase lake trout and we were very successful. We caught monsters, like all the way upwards of 36 inches and yeah, fun time, good fish. Uh, at the end of this video, I will be incorporating a short segment of how we went about catching these fish, the equipment used, all that jazz. And then I'll give you guys a short clip of Troy Green with a really nice brown trout we caught when we were chasing steelheads. So stay tuned and enjoy the video.
All right, guys, so there you have it. Um, I want to discuss with you guys exactly how we caught these lake trout. Now, lake trout across the board, they love white lures. It's just kind of a steeple color for lake trout fishing. Uh, white plastics, white rapalas, white jigging wraps, white X wraps, white anything is just kind of the steeple color. Now, in all the Great Lakes, you have to use heavy lure. There is current out there. So in Lake Michigan, we were running close to one ounce lures and we were running mostly plastics and minnow style, fluke style uh, plastics. Swim bakes works, tubes work. Um, yeah. We also were using uh, blade baits and the blade baits that we were using were actually purple in color. Uh, I know gold color works. Uh, I'm sure white works just like every other lure. Uh, so yeah, now these lake trout they're constantly feeding off of gobies which are on the bottom so whatever lure you're using you have to be close to the bottom because these lake trout they're cruising through and as soon as they see a goby they pin it to the bottom so as we're sitting here jigging you would jig and then all of a sudden when you lift up you'd feel weight and when you felt weight you just kept going with it now you don't want to bring your rod back down to set the hook these fish they love to throw their head around, and when they do so, they create slack line. And so that's kind of an importance of not having too stiff of a rod also, because you need a rod with flex, and that allows to keep the rod constantly loaded up, so when they do shake, they can't throw that hook. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, next, this is uh, <laughs> me and Troy decided to go try to chase some steelhead. Now, we didn't catch any. We were way too early on the spawn, but... Uh, there were a few brown trout in the stream, however, and uh, here's here's one of them. Enjoy, you guys. <laughs> Bear girls here. Haven't shaved in three days. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> uh, so me and Troy are spending our last day here chasing steelhead, which are apparently running up the river from Lake Michigan. So we're gonna drift some spawn sacks and see if we can get one or two steelhead. Stay tuned. And we are on our first steelhead. And that's not a steelhead, that's a brown. It's a brown? Yeah, that's a brown. Here, uh, come this way, come get out of the water. Go up this way a little bit. This has gotta be your biggest brown. Oh, easily. As long as it's over 19. All right, if you, if you kind of man the GoPro. Yep. What's up guys? <laughs> There you go. I'll just grab them. And he's gone. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It wasn't too horrible for you. Um, as I said before, if you guys can comment, uh, anything that needs to happen to our videos to make them better, that'd be greatly appreciated. We'll have uh, more videos here in the near future. Hopefully the virus kind of subsides and we can go back to doing backwater angling things. So yes, um, Hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a good one. Catch a Lakers today! Woo!